and it was already old when he died. <laughs> so I get it. You're cool, right, Riley? We understand you're hip. You're interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interesting because I have a dead relative who gave me a laptop. <laughs> yeah, it's heirloom. I don't have an heirloom laptop. All right, chat's live. Everything's in the green. Uh, if Candor, if you could check the stream to make sure our audio is coming through, that would be just Gucci gang. Just gonna appoint me to have all these responsibilities. Yep, it's good. Oh, but now performance is in the red. <laughs> oh no, we're back. Okay. Um, hopefully, let's just hope this retains. Either way, the recording will be fine. Let me get the fucking dang ass bears in here and then we can start the real show <laughs> come on discord i believe in you please now recording everybody welcome back to the riley live movie review podcast i am your host riley and today i am joined by not one but two fabulous guests well one of them i know is fabulous the other one you know uh, i don't know uh, first of all returning to the show random candor hello everybody this is random candor and i'm still really being manipulated by no. Riley, because I don't know which which one of us is it me or Insight? Like who? Which one is he not sure about? I, I'm not. I'm not too sure. Which one has been on the show before? Random kid, or I think you can <laughs> do some mental gymnastics there. The, <laughs> the way the way I podcast, I wouldn't doubt that that's certain. That makes a certain you hate me. Oh, that's no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, also here is Insight Zoidberg. Yeah. What's up, Insight? I'm here to ruin the show. Oh, <laughs> shit. Just... We can only drop so far, though. Listen, all I ask of you is you don't say any yeah. slurs. We are on Twitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best. <laughs> I'll give it so... a, a good old college try. <laughs> also... I know random is black, so <laughs> is he? True. To say the <laughs> oh, for sure. well, yeah, that's true. But I don't subscribe to the N word. Of course not. <laughs> very, very that's, poor, that's not very bad. bad YouTube channel. Bad guys. No, last stream I did Bo Rat Jack. <laughs> also, Jack's in the chat. Um, so, so before we start talking about the movie, I've got I've got a little bit to sh bit to uh, share with you all. So this 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 podcast also doubles doubles as a game show, and uh, mm. Insight Zoidberg is our, our our wonderful contestant. Uh, mm. <laughs> and the game the game show is called "Is He Too Cringe." <laughs> 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 So <laughs> this is an intervention. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we have so, brought you here so today. Here's, here's the premise, right? So, you know, I I don't know much about this kid. I've listened to like half of one of his podcasts, and it was mm -hmm. unlistenable. Uh, so, <laughs> inside sick. So, so what I've decided what I've decided to do here is. Uh, me mm. and uh, Random Candor, my trusted friend Random Candor, we are going to be the judges. Mm. And throughout this podcast, we will be keeping be track of, of Insight's cringe level. <laughs> and if, if he's too cringe, we'll just have to ban him from all of my circles, I think. <laughs> right, right, I didn't know you were so savage. This is, so, this is something I would do. <laughs> Good, because you're the other judge. I need you to be as ruthless as I am. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're here to talk about an amazing film uh, called Juno, uh, which is a 2007 Juno. Jason Reitman directed film starring Elliot Page and Michael Sarah, among other star names. J.K. Simmons is in this. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Michael now, Bluth. before we talk about my opinions on this movie, I want to talk about how I discovered this film. So, I the the, the story is. 
I got really stoned. And I was, I was, I, 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 yes, I was sitting there. I, I was sitting in my chair, like half dead. And I was like, I need some like comedy movie to watch on Hulu. And actually, uh, fun fact, uh, when I'm stoned, I become, uh, I become, a uh, what's the word for hating women? I, I somehow forgot the word. <laughs> misogynistic. Uh, that's the one. Okay. Uh, so I, so I become misogynistic when I'm high, but I say that because I saw on the Hulu page, there was like a little collection. It was like made by her. Movies made by women and starring women and being written That's by the name women. Of the thing. Blah blah blah. And, and I was so like, bad. and I was like, ha ha! It's probably gonna be some garbage in here. And I opened it up. <laughs> Riley, I, you know what they say: <laughs> the true, the true you comes out when you're messed up. <laughs> and I, I, I clicked on Juno, and I was like, holy shit! Michael, Sarah, and J.K. Simmons. And mm. I had never heard of this film once in my life. Apparently, pretty popular film. <laughs> never heard Before of it your once. time, I think. And I watched it. And I watched the whole thing. I didn't fall asleep or anything. I was like, 80% of my brain was fogged. But I, I, mm. was, engro- I was engrossed in this film. I watched the whole thing. I remembered most of it. I actually rewatched it again uh, mm. yesterday. <laughs> just to make sure I could remember everything. And that I wasn't just, like, brain fogged. And... Yeah, professional. I think this movie is fucking Kino. <laughs> this is the best movie I've ever seen in my life. Maybe not the best, Holy but shit. it's up there. It's up there certainly. God damn. Uh, so I guess let's get the let's get the room's opinion. So uh, I want I want to hear what Insight has to say about this movie. So Insight, yeah. what did you think of Juno, rated PG thirteen? Uh, I thought it was uh pretty good. Um, we know I, that already. I I don't think any. I was gonna say I don't think anybody knows this yet, because uh, <laughs> I would never publish an opinion on. That's, you uh, never will again. Before I was gonna do a podcast. <laughs> uh, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I, I, How many I times liked, are you gonna I say it? J.K. Simmons. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole. I need to I need to make it so that every uh, every time I give my opinions on the movie, I just need to say everything is pretty good. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you need to match my opinions, or I'm gonna say you're too cringe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're playing okay, the game. Uh, yeah, the game. It, it was the best movie I've ever seen in my life. It was better. <laughs> Uh, now, coincidentally, actually, insight from the sound of your voice. Better. This is, this is if, the first movie you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you, yep. you recently acquired eyesight. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He recently acquired <laughs> sentience. First time he's understood. Yeah. <laughs> yep. First words were just like, Riley, okay, I'll come on your stream. <laughs> you stop trying it out. Yep. Yep. Oh, go on. Sorry, I derailed. <laughs> yeah, it was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. If you can believe it, it was even better than Turning Red, which was the first movie I ever saw. Oh, that is. Okay. We're getting more insight. Lore. Did you did you watch Turning Red yeah. assuming I was going to let you on my stream for it? Is that the only reason what? you watched it? <laughs> no. I was if there's a chat- I was going to I was I was going to for a uh, for tur- um I thought that if you let me onto the show, I thought my joke would be that I had only watched five minutes of Turning Red because I, I watched like five <laughs> minutes of it like when it came out and I thought it was unwatchable, so I stopped it. So even <laughs> when I was when I had just been born, uh, oh my Turning Red was <laughs> the first natural. thing you saw out of the <laughs> womb was Turning Red. <laughs> yeah. And you instantly became a misogynist. He decided yeah. he hated women at that moment. Yeah. It changed yeah. his life. For the worse. For the record. Here on the Riley streams, we support women. We love women. Yeah. Except when you're high. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait. So, uh, wait. So is the rule that, um... Okay, so is the, the rule that we have to like women to be on the stream? <laughs> oh, shit. I guess Insight no, has to go. The main, the main rule <laughs> is that... There's only one rule, and you can't be cringe. Except that still means that inside oh, has. Okay. To there are two rules: you can't be cringe, yeah. and you can't say slurs. Those are the two rules. Oh, yeah. okay. 
Uh, okay. Um, I, I hear that. I, I I hear rumors that inside Zoidberg might have problems with that second rule. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get this in this Riley lore. I'm on the outside, guys. My this isn't Riley lore. This is inside Zoidberg right, lore. Right, right when I got out of the womb, my first word was the N word. <laughs> right before I watched, right before I watched Turning Red. <laughs> he said the N word. He watched Turning Red, and then he decided not only does he hate minorities, he also hates women. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And then I... it's, uh, uh, and so yeah, uh, Juno is the second movie I ever saw. It was even better than Turning Red, which makes it wow. the best movie ever made. Jeez. You actually um, you watched six minutes of this. Oh one. wait, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, I um when I first watched it, like, I, I like a few days ago. I I stopped it because the opening song I uh, was the annoying, opening song was pretty I was bad. Really tired. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I've come so around I to it. Stopped. I hated it. I hated it when it when which it, song the Juno one the oh. the opening song the song it's like oh, if I was a tree <laughs> that one. Oh, I love that song. I, I've come around to it. <laughs> Ironically, upon, upon second viewing, I was like, you know what? I kind of like this. <laughs> but uh, see, I was a, I was like a teenager when I, this first came out, and this was the vibe. This was the alternative, like twee, fucking <laughs> hipster, cringe shit. Was the mainstream. I just want to say, first of all, we uh, haven't even given piece. a plot summary, which I will do. Uh, but I also want to say, uh, insight... oh, I, I was hoping the insight could uh, give us the plot summary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, uh, yeah. Hold on, insight. I just want to say, insight. You're lucky that uh, my friend Jack is not one of the judges because he already wants to ban you. He's already done. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, but he's not the judge, though. He's not the judge. We're giving it's you a true. chance. It's true. It's up to me and Candor here. Yeah. It's, that's the feel of the room, though. Just so you know. <laughs> Zoidberg. I'm, I'm, leaning, I'm leaning positively. This is the most I've laughed on this show. I'm, I'm leaning positively here. I'm surprised. Oh, my God. We'll see if You're he fucks it up, though. <laughs> no, I'm not saying he's better than you. I knew it. Everyone's always against me. <laughs> Shit. The black thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get a plot summary. Let's get a Jack, plot what's wrong with random Candor? He's saying he has to use the gun on everybody. What did random Candor ever do to Jack? Is it because he's a minority? Is that why? He, he's allergic to baseness. All right. Uh, Too uh, much. Insight, give us a one little one paragraph plot summary of Juno. One paragraph plot summary of Juno. Um, That's the most uh, I've ever talked in his life. It'll. <laughs> It'll be a little difficult. Okay, um, so, uh, do I give, like, a serious plot summary? Or, like, a joke plot yeah. summary? Then, yes, yeah. tell us what actually happened to the movie, please. Okay, I'll tell you. Both. Okay. I'll be fast. So, uh, yeah. what happens is, uh, so, um. Stop looking up uh, on Wikipedia, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see through your So, <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Um, so, um, uh, Elliot Page, uh, the, the person that Riley horrifically deadnamed on Twitter, uh, no. the other day. Hey, if you're gonna be talking about Twitter, then we're, that's fair game. All Twitter's fair game. <laughs> <laughs> but go on, Elliot, uh, Elliot Page. That's how far you've gotten so far uh, in the summary. Yep. <laughs> yep. And so, uh, so what happens in the movie is that, uh, so Elliot Page, he's pretty good. Shut and so what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Tell a fucking story. <laughs> By the way, it's pretty good. Um, it's a little strong performance. Yeah. So yeah. The movie. Um, <laughs> so uh, what happens is that uh, he uh, he he uh, he gets pregnant with uh, with a with a baby. And yeah. uh, the 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 dad was Michael Sarah, and then the uh, well, both dads the, like one dad is Elliot Page. Yeah, and one. one what, yeah. <laughs> yeah, both. Yeah, both dads. It's the, one of the first inspiring LGBT movies. 
Oh, All right, listen, uh, before you continue this plot <laughs> summary insight, I just want to, real quick, because I You're know... You're going to let him continue? I know, I'm, and hold on. <laughs> I'm going to hold on. I just want to say, I just want to say... Yeah. For, I know. I know. I have a. I have a cucked and blue pilled audience. I know a lot of people are gonna have eyes on this one. So I just want to say. <laughs> I just want to say. Um, I fully respect <laughs> Elliot Page's gender identity. However, he did not play a female character in this movie. I will try. I'm going to refer to Juno as a woman. I will try to refer to Elliot Page as a man if I speak about him as an actor. Yeah, but if I fuck up, don't up, fucking. Really crucify me for it <laughs> please <laughs> anyway pl please tell us more about what happened in this movie okay. insight so there's okay so there's uh and then uh so uh, oh, actually the, wait the you, your review's been pretty long aborted, so far then... well so right before you started talking the summary of your your uh, review or your <laughs> recap was uh elliot page is pretty good and then and then that's it and then you said baby's aborted <laughs> And then, okay, continue. Yeah. <laughs> just, just so you're aware. Yeah. That's wrong. She doesn't abort the baby. And so, and then, so, oh, they talk about the dad. And true. then she's gonna abort the baby, and then the baby doesn't get aborted, and then uh, Spoilers, so the uh, put him up for adoption uh, for uh, uh, the Jennifer Gardner. Uh, yeah. And her husband. Continue. And the and. <laughs> So, <laughs> and, uh, the, do I, do I, do I give the synopsis for the whole movie? No, like okay. The, yes. Let me do it. No, on. no. All this. right. That, that's it. I'm <laughs> okay, doing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you so. do it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. This movie is Finally. about a young 16-year-old girl named Juno who has sex with her best friend, Polly Bleeker, played by Michael Sarah, and then she gets pregnant and she was going to abort the baby, but she decides to carry the baby and she's going to adopt it out to a nice family that she met. Uh, but then she gets weirdly involved with the man in the family that she met and a bunch of wacky shenanigans ensue. And that's the plot of the movie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I got to say, Riley, Riley, you said the plot wrong. You didn't use the words pretty or good once. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Those are the rules. Those, Those, are, the Those are very important parts of the synopsis. <laughs> now, I have to say best of all time. The top movie. Oh, uh, yeah, best of years. all time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, quote, unquote, pretty good movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can we boot him now or later? <laughs> <laughs> he gets judged at the yeah. end. <laughs> 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 yeah. he has to be on this whole podcast either way and then we'll judge if he's ever allowed to appear in the future there we go i think i've, I've made my decision but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway so i uh, we gave our little plot synopsis so i, I just want to say the movie juno might be the most okay Here's the thing, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon my inner Kino corner here for a second, okay? Please don't. <laughs> no. 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 Ju listen, Judo. No. The character Judo is mm. literally me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> listen. Uh, this, <laughs> Riley, if you mention the Kino Corner one more time, I'm leaving the stream. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the man, another you Kino Corner hater. You people really don't like Kino Corner. He, he, you're not allowed <laughs> to let him profit off of my name and my publicity. <laughs> yeah, Please, right? yeah. Thousands of subscribers on YouTube. Keto Corner yeah. is definitely profiting off random cantor. It's true. Please, that could be a soundbite. Let's keep keep the names between our name or distance between our names, please. I beg of you. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you Keno Candor. And I'm gonna. Oh my <laughs> God. Candor Corner. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, not again. Jack is like I didn't know Riley was a pregnant teenager. That's not what I mean. <laughs> but in terms of like Please, metaphorically, in terms of like the style of humor of her character and the style of humor of the whole movie really is so mm. compatible with my sense of humor. There were there were <laughs> at least two times when <laughs> there were at least two times where 
I fuck brain. Fuck. You laughed out loud? No, no, no yeah, I, I laughed out loud more than two times. Uh, but there were at least two mm. times where I made a joke to myself and then Juno made mm. the same joke in the movie. <laughs> nice. Like when uh when uh Jason Bateman's character uh says that uh uh, her wife wants to name the kid Madison if it's a girl. I immediately said gay, and then Judo was like, isn't that kind <laughs> of gay? <laughs> the name was like Melinda or something like that. Or like, what the fuck? What it's makes Madison. That Madison, yeah. Isn't that kind of gay? <laughs> very insensitive of her. <laughs> this is very the late 2000s. Different time. Yeah, that that joke was pretty good. There say. are so it's many good. Uh, Juno has so many fucking great lines. <laughs> like uh, when she's when uh, her and uh, Jason ba- Bateman's character are arguing about what the best year for rock mu- music was. She said this was like 1977, and he disagrees with her. She's like, "You weren't even there, man." And he was like, "You weren't even born yet. What the fuck are you talking yeah. about?" <laughs> it's great. Yeah, that makes it like more creepy too. Because of later events, whenever he like hits on her and stuff, so it's like yeah, it gets creepy like, later. But they're I think their first, they're like first couple of interactions were like really good scenes in the movie. Yeah, sets up the foundation of some compatibility or cringe. Certainly, certainly. So, uh, I guess uh, just kind of call through the movie, see if there's any particular scenes you want to discuss or something like that. Um, well, we did start with the opening song and that sequence, which I kind of enjoyed. I love the sequence. I, like I love the, the little. I like the art style, but the song took some took some getting used to. Mm-hmm. The Sunny D was Kino. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like that. that I think costume. that woke me up. Like I was in my chair, high as fuck, about ready to fall asleep, and then I heard mm-hmm. that song, and I was like, "What the fuck am I watching?" <laughs> I, I can't lie. I was I watched it with my girlfriend, like the opening part at least, and I actually literally now that you mention it, I told her during that sequence, I was like, "Oh, it's Sunny D. She's literally me." Like, <laughs> I, actually said, I didn't actually mean it like you do though, but I, I didn't say that. So now that's funny that that brings it up. The Sunny D reminded me. <laughs> It's the best drink. But yeah, that opening sequence was really interesting. And then the scene it leads into in the convenience store when she's taking the pregnancy test. I really like that Mm. convenience store clerk. I'm sad that he wasn't in any other scene of the movie because he was really funny. (laughs) 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 That's one one diddle that can't be undid. (laughs) Yeah. He, he was a little bit like annoying to me, but I also think that <laughs> it was supposed to be like, uh, you know, small towns or super in people's business and friendly and stuff like that. So I think it was supposed to set the stage of like, okay, this is a small town, whatever. She has banter with everybody. Yeah, it's really good. And then the, the, the Juno's like one of her first lines is like one of my favorites where she says like, yeah, the, the addition side looks more like a division sign. So I remain yeah. unconvinced. <laughs> that, that was I like good. that one too. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good yes <laughs> oh shit it's true he's right <laughs> looping, it, he's... looping back to uh inside soinberg's amazing review <laughs> yeah it was within the first six minutes of the movie so i think he did see that he's not lying. <laughs> it's true <laughs> yeah yeah can you name one scene besides this one <laughs> insight you have the floor um... Oh, okay. So name one song, but one uh, one scene one besides scene. the opening scene. Yes. Okay. Uh, there was uh the the scene uh mm-hmm. the where the yeah. the, <laughs> the, the where Jason <laughs> uh, where uh, the the scene where uh J- where uh, Juno's no. like uh where where Juno's like um um. Where she's like, uh, uh, I'm, I mean, I mean, um, I'm, I'm uh, pregnant. That scene, remember that one? I think, I think that's like three okay. different no, scenes uh, in the movie <laughs> where that exact uh, the, thing happens. Okay. Uh, the the there was the Jason Bateman uh, scene that was retarded? really uh, wait, like, not <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> Good. You broke the rule. You said it's a That was a medical question. <laughs> oh, you were asking oh, if yeah. it was a medical. Okay, there you go. I was, I was clarifying his status. Go on. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the scene where she, the, 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 uh, the, 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 jet, the, jet, the, 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 the movie was pretty good. So seven, seven out of ten. <laughs> No, no, no. You don't have to pretend inside. This is inside. Hey, listen, inside. You can be yourself. So the, we all have patience. Inside. You, you don't have to time. speak right away. Formulate the sentence in your brain and then repeat the sentence out. Is this your first time doing this? The whole talking thing? So be patient with yourself. You're gonna have to, we're going to have to wait the whole stream for me to, for me to talk again. Jack, yeah, yeah, well, I guess I guess technically you could. I was about to say, Jack, you can't use the gun. He's in the call, but I guess you are a mod on my Discord server, so you could ban him at your will. <laughs> Wait, how much do you pay your mods, Riley? I don't pay my mods. Are you fucking kidding me? They do it for free. Yes. <laughs> no, they don't. Have, they don't have actually have any work to do. I just give it to people I like and trust, and then sometimes someone says the N word or post gore, and they'll ban it for me. Um, it's a good scheme you got going there. You're like a slumlord. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it, it seems that Inside Zordberg really did not only watch the first six minutes of this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was okay. a bit. No, okay. But I'll actually... Okay, I'll actually I love how yeah, Jack is convinced so that Inside Zordberg is a she. <laughs> 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 Well, if you, Riley, you said that sometimes people think that you sound like a girl, and That's I think true. between you and Insight, I think there's no contest in terms of gr girliness. <laughs> not that it's enough. a bad thing, you know? Yeah, he's it's not a girl. He's, a, he, he's not a girl. He's just a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean, 13? I thought we established that I was literally just born <laughs> you're, you're yesterday. You were born no. yesterday, and then he you said, watched he said Turning 13, Red. <laughs> he said 13 minutes. He didn't watch Turning Red. He oh. watched five minutes of Turning Red, six <laughs> minutes six of Drill, minutes of this movie. <laughs> and, then, and then hopped in the code Discord late. <laughs> That's why he, he was literally born at 6 p.m. Yeah. That's why he wasn't here. Yeah. <laughs> that was his delivery time. <laughs> <laughs> And you walked on the stream. All right, inside. I don't know if you're like trying to do a bit. Can you actually not right. formulate sentences? <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> He's running with the gags. Uh, Go inside. I Go. Can... Uh, so, okay. Uh, there was a there was a scene in the in in the movie uh, where uh, it had um, Elliot Page, and he was pretty good. Oh god damn He's a pretty it. good actor. <laughs> <laughs> what about Michael Sarah? Um, How do you feel about Michael Sarah? Oh, Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. Uh I Yeah, he was I, in like 75 percent Michael Sarah in Uh yeah. My, I liked I like Michael Sarah in, in the, uh Scott in the Pope opening movie, scene. The only other Michael Sarah movie I've seen. <laughs> I, oh yeah. The uh, only wait, scene no, I didn't see movie. Scott Pilgrim. I didn't. I didn't watch Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> I, uh, you, uh, I didn't. You watch really liked movie Michael Sarah in the in the opening I... scene of this movie where he makes out with Juno. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I find uh, Michael's. I found Michael Sarah uh, annoying sometimes. Uh, what? His mustache was, was kind right. of annoying. Of His mustache was kind of annoying in this movie. His mustache? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that that's the that that reminds me of like one of the best scenes of the movie when uh Michael Sarah and like his group are like running. And then, <laughs> Just and one, then, brown that one, even brown even one brown guy. That wasn't even a brown guy. Yeah. Yeah. DJ. I literally just watched the movie. He, he ran up. What is a what is what is a brown guy? <laughs> you don't know them yet. You, you haven't been born yeah, long enough. Yeah, yeah. I have never seen one. You've only seen Mexican people yeah. with your family. <laughs> I've well, the only pe yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen black people like uh, like random, but yeah. I've n I don't know what a brown. Yeah, because we're all in the same is. room right yeah. now. We're recording this at a studio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and not in a Discord yeah. server. <laughs> So now he knows what a black model looks like. He doesn't we, actually know what we, we had to get a we had to get a yeah. we had to get a baby seat yeah. for insight. Actually, what the uh, no, thirteen? I can't say any of that shit. Oh, so fun. <laughs> oh. Disgusting. Uh, anyway, so Riley, why don't you give us one of your favorite scenes in the movie? 
All right. Well, I won't give you my absolute favorite scene because we have our wrap up questions to do at the end. Uh, but oh, to think bad. of uh, to think of another scene that I because there's multiple scenes I really like. Um, yeah. Of course. In fact, it's hard to go scene by scene because I just loved this entire movie so much that it's hard You're to so like split wet. it. <laughs> yeah, it's salivating over. Like this is all. This is just one whole great movie for me. I was never bored. I enjoyed myself the whole time. I I'm in love with this movie unironically like I, I want to tell you just to put it in perspective I won't tell you where it's going to be on the list because that would be too much spoilers uh, but mm. tomorrow at uh, tomorrow at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern time me and Mo Diggity will be going live with an episode of this show where we're going to talk about our top 10 favorite movies of all time Juno is on my list <laughs> I love this fucking movie are you sure you're not just overcompensating for dead naming uh, no! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Everyone keep that in the context one. Uh, <laughs> listen, hold on. I think I think we have to I, I wanna ask random kid to our question, but I think we have to deafen <laughs> insight. I don't I don't think he could be here for this. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's not appropriate for his age group. Oh, oh yeah. Well you can ask me ask me later. No, I'm just going to deafen him or for def- a second. Def- I, just, def- I just need a yes or no answer. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm, de- I'm deafening Insight Swordberg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Random I believe, Kandor. I believe in the kid. I believe in the kid. Is it gay? <laughs> Is it gay what? to yeah. uh, seek out and jerk off to pre-transition pictures of a trans man? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yes, so I'm gonna say yes because at that time, because technically, according to what you were teaching me earlier, Riley, they they were always a man, right? It's so not, it, yeah, but it's are. not romantic attraction though. It's attraction to the female body that once existed. <gasps> <laughs> There's a difference between I, I, I want to date this person not and I want to masturbate with Riley this saying person. that Elliot Page has a female body. I'm not associated with that. Quote <laughs> he at did all. have a female and body, and then he got the surgery skull. to get rid of it. That's the whole point. <laughs> he was a man I, trapped in a female body. All right, I'm 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 fixing insight back. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. Insight, welcome <laughs> back. The riveting discussion. I I, I, I could have just li- I I could have just watched the stream, but I don't care enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Uh, How would you even a- navigate the internet at that point? But yeah, I don't know um, how to navigate the internet. My uh my uh. My uh, my mom, mom. <laughs> brought, me this, brought me into the but brought me into the room. Yeah, she has an iPad in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like destined for failure from the jump. She's like, I haven't got time for this. <laughs> you can sit at the bottom and play on that. My son will be a failed podcaster from the moment that he's born. <laughs> Not failed yet. You've only given him ten minutes. <laughs> Let him explore. Oh my god, it's only been ten minutes. Yeah. Oh no. It's, no, no. But, it's uh, all downhill from here, bro. R- jump off the gurney. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> the gurney where he was delivered, which is also in the podcast studio that we're recording yeah. this in. <laughs> that's, that's because you have seen uh, an exquisite black man. My son will be an <laughs> NFT scam artist. <laughs> Inside of you, have you drawn any NFTs? Um, what is an NFT? <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't know yet. Is that an oh, is is that a slur? You see, yeah. <laughs> you see, when you logged into Twitter uh, to post that take about Juno, did you did you see that any did you see any really thing. ugly? drawings of monkeys by any chance (laughs) (laughs) those are probably nfts but anyway yeah the the love story between uh juno and polly bleaker uh is is a very very cute love story uh very i don't i don't know what an nft dynamic oh go ahead inside i don't I don't, I don't know what an NFT is. All I know is that the Kino Corner is the worst podcaster of all time. <laughs> you learned that from birth. 
Yeah. yeah. Your mother looked kind upon you and he said, always remember my young child. No, they do, they, there's <laughs> yeah. this thing called epigenetics and it's like some things that happen to you in your life can imprint on your kid. And like Kino is cringe enough that I think that imprinted on your mom being like, oh, what the fuck is this? And then Riley was just, I mean, <laughs> Insight was just born. No, you know, the, well, while the mother was giving birth, uh, she was listening to the... Uh... Uh, the A24 episode of Is It Kino? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. And then she didn't need any anesthesia. She just pure pain <laughs> and aggression <laughs> propelled insight out of her. It's a good technique. Uh, yeah, but uh, Jack Jack wants us to know that NFT stands for non-functioning testicles. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, see, I love the love Good story. Know, Michael know. Sarah was great in this movie, even though he uh, really was in very little of it, uh, all things mm. considered, for being second billing. Yeah. It, it was definitely hot. It was, he was a hot star at the time. So I think the, not surprised. I think the best friend character was in the movie more than uh, Michael yeah. Sarah. <laughs> I like that character, actually. That yeah, the best friend character, character was too. great. I, I love that yeah. character. So she was teenage friends and romance pretty good in this movie so one thing i wanted to ask uh see if you figured this out uh random uh so mm -hmm. there is a scene uh later in the movie where juno and her best friend are talking and her best friend is saying one of the teachers is hot mm -hmm. is that also her in the beginning of the movie hitting on the teacher or is that a different character I, I tell. think it is. I, when I first saw that scene, I was like, okay, this might be a different character. But then later on, I, it kind of confirmed it. Because she, like, spoke about it with a certain fondness. Like, she was like, oh, her type is teachers. And then, like, we never hear of that girl again. So why bring it up uh, if it's not going to come back around later or that character is a fixture? Yeah, it was, it was just weird because she looked so different in that particular shot that I was, yeah. I was doubtful that it was the same person. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the best friend character was really good. Another uh, very good line from this movie is when uh, 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 Juno and uh, Polly have their little, like, they get back together, they fall in love scene, and they start making out on the fucking track. And, mm -hmm. and then the best friend character is, like, stretching for her cheerleading routine or whatever, and she just yells, hey, you can go to labor early sucking face like that. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> and then good. Juno just flips her off. It was great. <laughs> it is cute. That was the th ideal thumbnail that. Yeah, we were gonna we were gonna this, do the but... thumbnail of uh, uh <laughs> Elliot Page and Michael Sarah making there you out go. with the middle yeah. finger, but when, I was afraid that might be too spicy for Twitch. <laughs> yeah, you can't can't be edgy. Which that was pretty. Uh, I I'm convinced that a uh, Polly and Scott Pilgrim are the same character. <laughs> yeah, and and any single character played by Michael. Sarah, <laughs> it's the right? same character because both Michael Scott Pil in Scott Pilgrim. That's like one of the one of the famous scenes is like when he first like quote unquote gets together with Ramona and he asks if they can make out now and Ramona agrees to mm -hmm. it. He does the same thing in this movie. <laughs> yeah, it's it's called getting consent, Riley, and it's kind of weird. You're so worked up against it, but <laughs> yeah, and I'll give it your history. It's. Probably. Not Whoa! Effective. What history? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Transphobia. Oh no! Yeah, I, I did name Delia Cates. Terrible crime. <laughs> yeah. And Riley, our young trans friend here, you wanted to ban. It's him <laughs> is, now, is inside right? Zoidberg trans? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a trans man. Fe fe female, the... female to male, I assume. Very early into the transitioning stage. Yeah, they haven't done vocal training yet. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you didn't miss I anything. Just, you never missed anything just, on my streams. They're all shit. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait till Insight said something. <laughs> yeah, have to allow you the see, silence. You see, so I'm glad, I'm glad that Insight Zwinberg can't form a cohesive sentence. Because what I was expecting coming into this is I'm like. I know that Insight Zordberg is an edgy 13-year-old, and we're about to talk <laughs> about a movie that stars a trans man before they transition. I can't wait to hear his base <laughs> takes on this person's gender identity. <laughs> I, think I, I followed Insight Zordberg on uh, Twitter. I don't know for how long. I don't know if it was just because of this, but I thought it was longer. But they're pretty, pretty base. No, you 
followed you. Fo- you followed me for a while. Yeah, it's like, pretty big. You know, it doesn't seem overly yeah. edgy or. Overly he's he's around in Mumkey, he He's around in uh, Mumkey circles, but he's not in the Patreon yeah. Discord server because he doesn't have yes. disposable income because he's thirteen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a great decision. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, uh, nice, <laughs> Jack. I, I hope that he, I hope view. that I hope that Inside Zoidberg is not secretly null from mad at the internet because I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> That guy is a fucking asshole. Oh no, he wronged Riley. Not directly, but uh, he went on the Dick Show and like had like a crybaby tirade about uh, Trixie the Golden Witch, and I complained mm. about it on a podcast. Oh, uh, that's one of the only. That's that's one of the videos I saw. I, that oh, did you see like, the fucking T clips video? I saw the. Yeah. God damn it! I saw the clip. <laughs> <laughs> garlic bread you're right michael Sarah is amazing he's canadian too but but wait both of them are canadian oh <gasps> yo this movie that is literally was, random that, panda where they're all canadian yeah literally me i was i was uh because when um uh yes. when demi said that she was gonna go on to my podcast mm-hmm. uh i was like i like uh i i searched up uh I searched up Demi Gloom on YouTube, and I think it was on uh, Demi's second channel. The <laughs> oh yeah, I think she I did remember. repost that clip. Yeah, yeah. It was like the the only good oh, rant that Riley has ever gone on, or like something to that yeah. effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Demi's in chat. That's me. <laughs> I'm that one. Name <laughs> follow Demi Gloom. <laughs> It was on okay, so you did Moogie repost Med? it on Moogie Med. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is Moogie Med? Insight, when am I coming on your show? I know Demi Gloom cucked out of it, but I'm I'm still waiting. I've been waiting for the call. Whoa, whoa hold up. Show. Hang on, hang on, guys. This is not allowed. This is a conflict of interest. You're just buying a judge's vote for cringe or not <laughs> by giving them an opportunity to come on your podcast. What the hell is this, Riley? Is this whole podcast just a setup for you to go on his podcast? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I let him join, so that I could yeah, bother him yeah. about coming on his show. Yeah. <laughs> You're not cringe, bro. Let me come on your show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, we got to talk more about fucking Juno. Uh, yeah. Great film. Like ten pretty good. Ten percent of the like ten yeah. percent <laughs> of this podcast has been talking about the actual movie. Okay, but uh, on the other hand, insight, ninety-five percent of this fucking podcast has been you going, um uh, uh, yeah. uh, um uh, uh. <laughs> De- so Demi Gloom Demi Gloom just yeah. said in chat that she'll she'll still come on Insight Show. I think uh, I think what we should do and uh, Insight you have no say in this so don't even acknowledge it. I'm just talking to Demi Gloom. Uh, I, I think we should just record an episode of Insight Show and send it to him and force him to post it and he's not even in it. <laughs> 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 insight would you honor that would you would you be up to the task yeah, I do. I, yeah. yeah. what an honorable guy <laughs> we steal his yeah. podcast <laughs> just, yeah. every episode of the show from now on is just gonna be uh demi gloom and riley it's never yeah. there you go and, and like inside is just like a weird middleman because the login is probably associated with his personal email, so he can't give it to us. Insight has, Insight has ascended. He's now just a platform. He's, <laughs> others. He's too big to be a creator himself. He hires people. He has new, a team. new free speech alt right yeah. platform. Insight Zoidberg. <laughs> Riley and Demi are the co hosts of his show. <laughs> Insight Zoidberg TV dot WordPress dot com. Visit D- Juno today. is a teen pregnancy story, Jenny Bailey. You're correct. Also, welcome to the Hi. stream. <laughs> yeah, that is a great subheading. I appreciate that. It's very descriptive. It's not a new member, it's just a new chat. I don't know why it's saying a new member. How, how based is Jenny Bailey? Good question. <laughs> So far, pretty high. Pretty, high pretty definitely more, so than <laughs> Way more than insight. That's clear. Are already she's better than one of our on co-hosts her. on the stream. <laughs> you know, Jenny Bailey. If she is either three, one, or two, she's still older than, than insight. Insight Zoidberg, <laughs> who's literally, literally hours one hour old. old. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Not yet. 40 minutes. His two hour anniversary is coming up soon. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, wait, back to the movie, guys. We have to read right, the back teen to the movie. pregnancy story. Yeah, so the whole the pregnancy thing uh, is very it's very interesting to follow as she goes through the stages as the And I like they, I like that it's like a teen pregnancy that isn't the stereotype like high school slut or like, oh I'm down on my luck shit. It's like the rare, weird quirky girl that like everyone kinda likes. And it's like, okay, well it's she's not a degenerate or anything. <laughs> she got she got sense. bored and she fucked Michael Sarah and <laughs> Yeah. Which is many the many fallout. Many cases. Of getting bored, I think that's a that's an exclusive story of any woman who's fucked Michael Sarah. <laughs> See, Insight wouldn't know, but if they were around in two thousand seven to two thousand nine, he was a hot commodity. Just he was the white boy Kino. The white boy Kino. I think mm-hmm. Michael Sarah might be becoming one of my favorite actors. Oh my! Like, God. I, what I, weird, I, weird yeah. way to attach to this movie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very, I'm very attached to Scott Pilgrim too, and then I saw him in this movie, and I'm like, yeah, oh I, yeah, he's good. I love Michael Sarah. Scott Pilgrim is yeah, still Brett. supposed to be one. Of my, still supposed <laughs> Society to be one of my groomed us to think Sarah is attractive. It's true, it's true. Go ahead, What would you say? I Scott Pilgrim is still listed as one of my favorite movies, even though I haven't seen it in like a year. But I remember really liking Michael Sarah and Scott Pilgrim. He yeah, was he was perfect Scott casting for the character of he's, Scott Pilgrim. He's also more of a dirtbag in that movie. Like he has that fucking high school girlfriend. Like what the fuck? And then he just like dips out on her ASAP whenever he sees like a hot girl. Not not a stand up guy. I immediately Scott like Pilgrim. I saw this movie and I I, I saw. Scott Pilgrim, and I loved it, and then I was like, you know, that scene probably has some talking heads on Twitter, and I immediately looked up Scott Pilgrim pedophile on Twitter out of curiosity, <laughs> and there were a whole lot of results. <laughs> it's... They it do be facts, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Fun fact, I think that actress was actually older than Michael Sarah. The girl who played Knives is older than Michael Sarah. I'm pretty sure. But are we criticizing Michael Sarah for being a pedo, or are we criticizing Scott Pilgrim? Well, I mean, I guess it, it, the, the character did it. I mean, that's mm-hmm. true. Objection! Objection! <laughs> okay, back but, to Juno. <laughs> back to Juno. <laughs> Insight, you have to carry us. Talk about Juno. Insight, please say at least two cohesive sentences about Juno in sequence. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay. Uh, my, f- my favorite character was... No, don't uh, say that yet. Sarah. No, shut up. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. You, you have to choose the we questions then, Ryan. We have, we have wrap-up wrap questions. Wrap up okay, yeah. You cannot talk don't about... Don't read the movie. Don't talk about... Don't talk about... Okay, listen. Don't talk about your favorite character. Don't talk about your favorite scene. And don't talk about what you'd rate it out of 10. Because we do that at the end. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. Wow. Garlic bread had a good point. Yeah, yeah, no worry. I'll buy you some time. You just butt in whenever you're ready. But the, the fact that Asians don't age is a common trope, and Garlic Bread is saying <laughs> that Knives, who is 17 years old, as in terms of the character, was played by a 37-year-old actress. Very interesting. What do you think about that? That, is, that is quite interesting. Well, she wasn't 37 at the time, but the point is she was the four years older than Michael Sarah. But she looks like she could have been. Fair enough. <laughs> What's your favorite dish? <laughs> yeah, Jack just asked us what our favorite dish is. Why, why don't we go off the movie for another five minutes to talk about culinary well, but we're delights? Still buy- we're actively buying insight time. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's didn't formulating his sentences. He's just like, free of fucking responsibility. He better be so, working it here. My favorite Firing dish. His I guess like when you say dish, do you mean like just like a meal? Yes. Or like a food in particular? Or... It's so like a dish would be like, you know, a nice, a nice sirloin steak with some mashed whichever potatoes you prefer. Mm-hmm. and some green beans. That's, that's a good answer. I think. Mm-hmm. Some green beans. You like green beans? Yeah. I love green beans. 
<laughs> What's a better topic than talking about Duna? Literally nothing. <laughs> this movie is great. You still haven't tell, told me why. You, what about the relationship was special to you? What the, the relationship Michael between Sarah and Michael, I just think it was a very like you know. fun and charming uh, relationship, and I think it was. Crafted. Do you think she was? Do you think she was annoying? Uh, I mean, I can understand why people would think that, uh, mm -hmm. but I don't think she's so, literally really. you. Jack, she's we already we you. we talked about super cyber human samurai cyber squad on my fucking bow rat stream. We don't need to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't think she was annoying. I think she was very, a uh, very fun character. Uh, I can like quote any one of her lines. Like they were all gold to me, pretty much. Yeah, I liked her. She had just a lot of charisma in that role. A likable kid, but also I like that like people were kind of annoyed with her because like that's what that type of person in real life. Those are the reactions they'd get. They wouldn't be like, "Oh, lol, XD," like, "Oh, she's so witty and quirky and so many references." They'd be like, "Shut the fuck up, man! Just <laughs> pay for the thing that you chose and <laughs> stop talking in riddles." <laughs> Don't think it's yours just because you marked it with your urine. <laughs> she's a little feral <laughs> feral damn so inside i guess there was that, that right? uh, yeah how the sentence is coming have you crafted i think i i think i've formulated sentence one okay. nice okay go for uh, it good. go for sentence it there one. and then we'll just riff I, I thought the uh the the doodles that popped up for like the different seasons were pretty fun uh, I liked those. I liked the scene with the where the mom was like, uh, uh, where the mom was next to the ultrasound technician. I really. Uh, oh yeah, she verbally abuses the technician. Not spoiling my favorite scene. She yeah, she nice. verbally abuses nice. the technician, well and then uh, and Juno praises her for being a dick, and then, <laughs> and then. Yeah. There's a great uh, scene where later uh, he goes, uh, she goes to Mark and Vanessa's house to show them ultrasound pictures of the baby, and then she's like, "Yeah, yeah my funny story. My stepmom abused the <laughs> ultrasound tech, and we got to score off the premises." <laughs> yeah, but the reason, yeah, the reason was because the ultrasound tech said something. Oh, thank God! Like you're adopting out this baby, and then the mom's like, "Well, what the hell are you talking about?" Blah blah. blah. So she's defending her honor, and it's not her mom; it's her stepmom or yes yeah, stepmom yeah so step there's a pair there's a parallel there about you know the jennifer garner adopting a kid and her being the husband of juno's dad i was like you know the connection even if you're not biologically related there's yeah. depth there family is family that also is connected to the reason why juno is so immediately emotionally distraught uh when mark tells her that she's he's leaving vanessa Cause he's like, mm -hmm. "Fuck! I don't want this baby to have a broken family like mine." God damn it! True, true. I didn't think about that. What do you think about that insight? Wait, I'm formulating sentence two. <laughs> he's not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was so. A bit of a troll. <laughs> I find it. I, I I feel it. I find it interesting how they really showed not told. Uh, that's a stupid way to say that. Uh, but with uh, no, no, we get you. Uh, with Mark and Juno, because like mm -hmm. there, there, Mark yeah. never states any intention that he wants to be romantically involved with Juno. The the most mm -hmm. that comes close to that is he asks her how she th thinks of him, and that's like the closest mm -hmm. it ever gets. So that that was well, kind of interesting. They were da they were dancing like with her. They were dancing, but like that was that was that's pretty close. That was the definition of show not tell. That was a they weren't talking. Yeah. they were dancing. Exactly. I think that was like kind of borderline of like, all right, well, what the fuck? And then him telling her that he was leaving his wife is like, well, what the fuck do you expect? Yeah, I think, you the, I think the implication of that scene is that if she had responded more positively, he was going to proposition her to move in with him. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Some weird artist guy, you know? Never trust Twitter artists. Listen, lesson. you can't try. Jingle riders are always sleaze balls. First, it was Charlie Sheen in Two and a Half Men, and now it's mm -hmm. Jason Bateman in June. And although forgetting Sarah Marshall, he also wrote jingles. I didn't know it was such a trope, but he wasn't a good guy. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess fucking <laughs> sleazeballs who write jingles is a new trope. Mm-hmm. We, got, we got Charlie Harper from Two and a Half Men. You got Mark from Judo. Jason Siegel from... Yeah. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I don't think I've ever seen that, but I believe you. It's it's a classic. It's a classic. I would be very willing may, to do may, it. Yeah, maybe that. we'll have to review that one. I, I have some... Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm excited. I have I have plans for the show. I guess to stall more for Zoidberg. I already have yeah uh, two other episodes that are tentatively planned to, to like again uh, tomorrow. I'm going live with Mo Diggity and we're talking about our top ten movies of all time. And then tentatively oh. on Thursday, I believe I'm going to be reviewing another uh, Jason Reitman directed film, uh, Jennifer's Body with uh, Alexis. Oh Jesus, he did that. Uh, Wait, friend- what the hell? Yeah, my friend, he did he did Jennifer's body. Yeah, my friend Alexis, who uh, co-hosted my old movie review show that had to be put on an indefinite hiatus because of scheduling, because it had like set co-hosts. Um, but uh, she she's gonna be returning uh, to this show uh, to talk about Jennifer's mm-hmm. body with me on Thursday. So yeah, nice. Things That'll are coming down hype, the pipe. Hype show. I f- I formulated the second Go sentence. It. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Um. The really, uh, the really creepy relationship between uh, Jason Bateman and uh, Juno was really funny, uh, mm-hmm. and very relatable to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was We've the kind of thing there. where like it took a wrong turn because like I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. They they like have a little friendship, and then yeah, it like starts to turn creepy, and it's like, ah, oh, oh no, what is he gonna do to her? Yeah, <laughs> happened to inside a lot. He's like, oh, we're getting along. She's just like, um, no, like, are you joking? I barely tolerate you. It's like, oh, the, oh. I was going to say, the relationship, the relationship was not relatable in terms of Juno. I mean, it was relatable to me. Uh, cause yeah, I got Jason what you're Bateman. Jason Bateman. Yeah. Like, you are. That was a joke. <laughs> but then we turned it on you. You see, by calling you an incel. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Do you understand the joke? We're calling you an incel, okay? That's the joke. I don't think Riley was in on the joke, though. I thought, I thought, what, damn it. Is too, but... <laughs> what is an incel? Oh, it's like something. Oh, it doesn't know that one yet it's either, like... Dev. It's like what we call people like you. Like just think about yeah, <laughs> think about it, everything persona. about you and who you are, and that's what it yeah that so. defines. <laughs> Incelsoid. Incelsoid. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm I'm change my t- <laughs> no, no, don't do it. You'll get banned. Oh. You'll, you'll get targeted. <laughs> All right. No, so I, so, like, I like Zoidberg. Go on. Uh, Another another good scene I just want to talk about because uh, it's not my favorite, mm-hmm. but it's one of them. Uh, the sort of confrontation scene between uh, Juno and Polly in the in the school uh, because mm-hmm. uh, Polly asked the girl out to prom who he said he didn't like because she smelled like soup, <laughs> and, yeah. and Juno was mad about it. <laughs> Her house smell- No, I think Juno said she smells like soup. Yeah. Or no, no, Polly uh-huh. said she smells like soup, and then the best friend affirmed uh-huh. that her house also smells like soup. Oh, okay. yeah. But uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Michael Sarah said she smells like soup, and her whole sm- house smells like soup. And then later yeah. on, Juno told that the the girl, the best friend character. She's she like, like, yeah, totally. Yeah, it totally smells like soup. <laughs> <laughs> It was like Lipton uh, landing in there. <laughs> there, there we go. We just got we got confirmation that Insight actually watched the. Holy movie. shit! Yep. Damn. Go. Good job. Well done. We figured you out. Deep down, he's a good guy. <laughs> deep down, you have to look very deep, <laughs> but you'll find it eventually. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so in this confrontation, in this confrontation scene, they're mm-hmm. sort of like fighting uh, because Judo's mad that. Uh, He's taking her to prom, even though Juno, like, said that she wanted nothing to do with him romantically. So, like, she has no right to be mad. And then they're, they're mm-hmm. sort of, they're arguing about it. And then there's the line where, uh, <laughs> where he says, I still have your underwear. And she responds with, I still have your virginity. That was nice. That was <laughs> fucking sick. That was fucking sick. There was also, I guess, 
Uh, Polly's got a little bit of creep in him too, because there's like a scene where he's sitting in his room and he's like gr- he's like squeezing Juno's underwear that he still has. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but that I don't know if that was like kind of sentimental or is it supposed to be freaking teenage like cringe horniness. I'm sure he has a different object relating to Juno that he could be sentimental about besides her underwear that she was wearing the day that they fucked. <laughs> the day that he got her pregnant, though. That's pretty important. Oh, I guess that's fair. But like they, the, neither of them acknowledge it as their child. Like In the end, it's Vanessa's son, and they just move on with their lives. But it's their pregnancy. Fair enough, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, are there any other specific scenes you want to discuss before we move into the wrap-up questions? Mm-hmm. Insight? None for me. <clears throat> did, did he die? Is it over? Did he? Yeah, did it wait? Did not, wait, I said no. Oh, okay. okay. We didn't hear not it. Pick it up. No. Yeah. All right, but uh, our wrap up question. So first of all, favorite character, and a hundred percent, I gotta give it to Juno. Uh, you know. I said this in the Bow Rat review, so not to repeat myself too much, but like I usually pick a character who's not the main character. Like I'll become attached to a more side character in most movies. Uh, but Juno as a lead was so strong here, and I related so much to like her sense of humor that I just I love that character. Juno was fucking great, and Elliot Page he gave a hell of a performance in this movie. Um, yeah, so amazing. Easy, easy. Juno, Juno is main beautiful. Character. Riley, is it because that you always identify with the sidekick that's like quirky and goofy but then this time she's the main she's character. the main character and she's quirky and goofy. Main... <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i think literally that might me. be it. literally me bro I, exactly yeah yeah i would probably give it to <clears throat> juno as well she's kind of annoying but i will go with the best friend character the girl best friend who none of us know the name of which is kind of i think it was leah I'm, it. This uh, was I'm, I'm guessing leah, that's leah but so she she was good because you know she non-judgmentally supported her choice of continuing without the abortion she was stuck by her side she had that loyalty it's you know that, that's yeah she was there she was there with her when she gave birth this chick's loyal yeah she's yeah, like the she's best a, of friends she's a bad bitch 100 percent. except she hits on teachers was kind of cringe but i'll i'll what was overall. it that she said she loved i wish i could remember that line because that made me laugh out loud when i was high watching this movie there, there was like some old like book or some shit that she was like, yeah, I like that too to like hit on the teacher. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh I think it was a Woody Allen movie. Yeah, yeah I love Woody, Woody Allen. Allen too. <laughs> nice insight. Poor the poorly Which aged is... joke, if I couldn't say so myself. No, I think I think it's exactly aged. <laughs> That's why it's like a multi level thing because he Woody Allen himself is a pervert preying on like young girls. So she is saying, oh, yeah, I also love Woody Allens, you know? I want you, you to be my me? Woody Allen, is what she's saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want you to put your Woody in my Allen. <laughs> all right, all right, Insight, it was your favorite character. Um, I liked J.K. Simmons a lot. Oh, the dad. J.K. We didn't even really talk about him. He was so good. Yeah. I love the he scene... Was, I love sure. this. Uh, I love the scene where uh, Judo comes to him for like advice about like whether people could be in love, and yeah, then, and then great. at the end he's like, "Oh yeah, you're the, it's me. I, I'm the one who will stick by you forever." <laughs> yeah, and then she's walk away. You, oh, the- you, you were talking about me, right? She's like, "Oh yeah." And then and then J.K. Simmons kind of smiles to himself. He's like, "Yeah, no, she's not." <laughs> I know that. No, but but I think it was like also over. Like she knew that he knew that it wasn't about him, obviously. So that yeah, yeah. So it was like a little jokey exchange. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's genuine advice, which is a very cute thing. Yeah, the dad Just character he- was very good. He had a lot of good lines, even though he like <laughs> verbally abused her for being fat and one scene. He was joking, but I thought I thought it was kind of out of line. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the edginess. She, that she yeah, she walked in. Respect, she but... she walks in like eight months pregnant. She he's like, hey, fat puffy version of June Bug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but she, I think she she respects the edginess though, you know. She, yeah, he fair knows enough. Audience. Yeah, he, I, exactly. He knows I also think it, w- it would have been like kind of more cringe if he was like a super like supportive gruff dad and all that. Like the fact mm-hmm. that he had some like they had some friction, they had some tit for tat. That was important for their relationship. <laughs> I'm, I'm remembering now the dinner scene from the beginning of the movie 
This mm. might and uh, this might replace oh. this might replace what I was about to say as my favorite scene. I don't know, oh, shit. Uh, but I just want to say I just remembered just like the dynamic of the scene was so good. So they're at the dinner table, uh, Judo and her little sister and the dad and the stepmom, <laughs> and the stepmom and and Juno mentions how she like drank an entire like sixty five ounce slushy in ten minutes. <laughs> and then the stepmom like brings up uh that there was like blue <laughs> blue shit in the yeah. face <laughs> and the way she delivers that line she was like there was some blue shit i mean goo yeah in the, in yeah. the, in the vase <laughs> and then and you're just like i would never throw up in your vase friend and then it cuts to her <laughs> throwing up in the vase <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and they return to it later whenever she just dumps she it just dumps the, the slushy in there yeah, yeah, out of spite <laughs> and she knows that she knows <laughs> uh but anyway uh yeah so uh me and you both agree on judo what about uh oh you you said the dad character right insight is your favorite mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. all right cool. well then go to favorite scene and i guess i will share my real favorite scene i'm gonna stick with it um i think my favorite scene in the movie just even though it has creepy connotations, uh, what it leads up later, I think there were a lot of good mm-hmm. lines in this scene, and the dynamic was overall really good. I think it's mm-hmm. that first time that uh, Juno and Mark like hang out, like not the not the little guitar scene when they first meet, but the time she goes to their house after that, and they watch the mm-hmm. horror movie, and they're like talking shit about the music. I, I I think that was a very good scene, and there were very good lines from both Jason Bateman and uh, Elliot Page, and I I just really enjoyed that whole like interaction scene. Uh, I thought yeah. that was really good, so I think I'll give my nod to that scene. That was a solid scene. I remember, like, notably being like, oh, "Okay, this is like a this is a a good, well written, well paced uh, kind of scene." But I think my favorite would probably be like the end scene. Like, it's a little bit obvious, but whenever she's like walking across the oh. field and like like a lumbering kind of pregnant lady and bleaker just like stops running and shit and then sees her it's like kind of the classic 80s movie montage of like the big grand gesture oh yeah she, she puts the hundred uh tic-tac boxes in her in his mailbox oh yeah yeah, that's <laughs> true, yeah. yeah. cute that's my favorite scene probably what do you but, think yeah that say? is really cute um my favorite scene uh i really uh, I was laughing super hard at the scene where Jason Bateman uh, was was dancing with uh, Juno. Right, you have sisters. I was like, because it was so. Uh, I was like, because Jason Bateman is my hero in this movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> Riley also loved that stuff too. I think it was just scene. like me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I also, right. I also no. dance with 30-year-old men. <laughs> you got yeah. me. Yeah, that was, that was a good scene, regardless. And they played the awkwardness. All right, uh, well, mm-hmm. rating the movie out of 10. Uh, I want to hear from Random Candor first. All right. Let me get a drum roll. I need an ins- I need an inside drum roll, right now. Okay. Roll, <laughs> not just drum. Keep going. That's pretty good. You're pretty good strength for a <laughs> ten minute year old. Um, okay, let's give it a eight out of ten. Okay. And that's a light eight, to be honest. It was mm, okay. it was really it was really good at the moment whenever it was like uh, released. And it's like kind of defined the whole period, but like that twee, like new girl esque aesthetic. But it was not like some elements were just more like like somber, tepid, and like uh, like twee and filled with like angst and uh, kind of I don't know, like melancholy or what's a better way to explain it? Like uh, dramatic. Or not really dramatic, but like self pitying and like kind of like oh like weird quirky. In, inside, yellow, we don't like, need a drum roll thing. anymore. The drum roll is done. <laughs> yeah, no, we should have <laughs> let him. We can't, we, uh, Riley, in these situations, you got to let him keep going. 
until <laughs> uh, I gotta let him. I gotta let him build like, up the cringe filter. I can't. I can't stop yeah, yeah. him. I gotta, I gotta yeah. let him fill up the meter. Until he's like, oh, like, is my mic working? How come they're not saying anything? <laughs> I'm not getting any attention. <laughs> <laughs> it, it takes him like twenty minutes to realize he's been dead for the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's been deafened. <laughs> But that's, I guess, that's my favorite uh, thing scene. But, but you're just Wait, talking about. We already finished. No, eight, eight, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. <laughs> eight out of ten. But there's, is there, it's almost too much like, um, like self pity kind of like cringe. You know, we're all alternative kind of on the nose indie stuff to be higher. Even though, like, from stereotype of me, I would say this would be like an easy nine out of ten usually. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so, Insight, uh, what, what would you rate this film? Um, it's the best. <laughs> it is the best. It's the best out of movie ten. I've ever seen in my life. Seven out of ten, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> best movie I've ever seen. Yeah. Seven out of ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good scale. He's, he's reflective. He's like, I pro this probably isn't the best movie ever. There's other movies out there. This is the first one I saw. <laughs> I'll give it a seven. The second one, I'll be optimistic. Not turning red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah this. exactly. <laughs> this is my favorite movie because I've only seen this in turning red. Because <laughs> uh, uh, Minions: The Rise of Gru hasn't come out yet. That'll be inside the uh, Wonder Wall. I think. Oh shit! Oh my god! Yeah. That'll be, be yeah. great for you, bro. I'm excited the, the, for this, this movie was my wonder wall. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, she's, she's literally you. Hold, what's your actual number rating, though? Insight. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I would probably say like seven or seven point five. Uh, I liked it. Uh, uh, it was funny. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, was it your Elliot style of humor then? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, Elliot Page is fucking pretty... hot in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a very, very beautiful, gorgeous. I paused that one time and I, I told my girlfriend, I was like, "Look at it, fucking Elliot Page, the handsome man." But like, I know you don't I... like it, but this is what peak <laughs> performance looks like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at it, study it. You will never achieve it, but just marvel at it. Be insecure. Is what I told my girlfriend. No, no. but yeah, the, I can like, I can say Elliot Page is really hot in this movie because I made I, I I googled it and I made sure she was twenty when this movie came out. So, she? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. No. He can't. He can't, he can't resist it. <laughs> oh my god! He he oh god. he was twenty when this movie came out. No one clipped this. <laughs> yeah, um, no one clipped yeah. this. <laughs> but yeah, no, this, like, uh, Elliot Page was my childhood crush growing up. So it was actually like very funny whenever uh, he transitioned into being a man because I've been telling people this for years. And then everyone was messaging me being like, hey, did you know you're gay? Did you know that you're gay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <new stars. laughs> you're gay. And I was like, fuck sick <laughs> like finally i always hoped it would happen also i just want to mention uh the maybe factoring into insights uh cringeometer is that uh 20 minutes ago we had six viewers and now we have two and somehow i think he might have something to do with that <laughs> well, he, he, he was talking a lot prior to the six viewers so maybe they came in just so that he could speak and then he spoke and they left and then they left they, they were only here yeah. for yeah. Insight. Big draw. he could have been the draw all right, so I guess it's time yeah. for me to rate this movie out of ten, and everybody's gonna call me a cuck, but I don't care. I will not. Oh, that that won't change. That'll be the same before and after this. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will not apologize for this to you fuckers out there. Riley has I'm no giving... functioning te testicles. <laughs> <laughs> I've got NFTs. Fuck. Um, all right. I'm giving this movie a 10 out of 10. Fuck it. Fuck you all. Oh it's great. <laughs> you did, did, what did you do turning red? I gave 8 out of 10 turning red. I okay. Believe. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I give every movie on this show a 10 out of 10. 
<laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like how in Randy the Wild Horse's food reviews, he says every food is delicious. Mm-hmm. I say every movie is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's positivity. You can't hate on the positivity. Uh, but uh, yeah, 10 out of 10 film. I was literally, I literally loved every second of it. I would rewatch this. I, mm. you, this is my Donnie Darko. You know how fucking Biggs Bigsington yeah. watches Donnie Darko every day. I could watch fucking Juno every day. Donnie Darko is one hundred percent better than Juno. We I've, have ne- I've never, Darko. I've never seen. Listen, I've never watched Donnie oh. Darko because uh, back when I did this show with my friend Ian, we tried to invite Biggs on and he wouldn't come on. So I never watched Donnie Darko. Mm. Oh, true. Who's Biggs Bigsington? Is Biggs the Ass burger man? No, that's a different yeah. guy. <laughs> different, no, di- guy. Di- different fat Hispanic Brandon. No, that's not my Brandon. <laughs> uh, Dark Void, is that you? Did you just walk into the room? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking three dogs. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so yeah, this movie's ten out of ten. Uh literally perfect. I I, I adore it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah. our blue pill talked. <laughs> <You're, you're laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but I, I gotta respect someone who just who says it with their chest. You know, you like what you like. That's it's gangster true. of you, right? Insight. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I guess it, <laughs> I guess um, before we before we do our wrap up here, I guess it's time for uh, yeah. the results uh, for is he too cringe? The famous game show. Oh no. <laughs> That's so, right. We, so, have to, uh, we have to have a small blurb of our evaluation. Yes, random candor. Please provide your cringe evaluation for Insight. Okay. So, the way I see it, Insight was like started off pretty sick, pretty sick, and then he likes wasted a lot of time and was not that funny for a little while. So I was like, oh, shit, man, this guy, this is whenever we were talking about you wanted to mute, deafen him or something. Like around that time, I was like, shit, this guy is this. He's going towards cringe. I want him to win. I'm rooting for him, but he's objectively cringe. And then towards the end, uh, he kind of pulled back up. So I would say not cringe. It was like a, it was close there, though. All right. All right. Uh, well, uh, my evaluation <laughs> I, I, I I pretty much tend to agree, you know. I went into this no. not knowing what to expect uh, because mm-hmm. last time Insight asked to come on the show, I intentionally ignored him because I knew he was a 13-year-old <laughs> boy. <laughs> and then this time, this time he asked again, and I'm like, all right, I can't ignore him again. Let's give him a shot. Nice. And, and you know what? I, I had a good time. This is a good episode. I'd be totally down to have... Uh, insight back on in the future and i think he is not yeah. cringe he, he is one is he too cringe he is not yeah. too cringe yeah. he's not too cringe it, the status was negative he tested negative for cringe welcome to riley streams <laughs> welcome to the Ri- welcome to the riley <laughs> family of podcasts uh which is just a <laughs> secret cult <laughs> you've you've been indicted mm-hmm. now <laughs> you've been indoctrinated mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what do you have to say about that insight um, I think I deserve it. Um, I'm the best. <laughs> the best, uh, I'm the best podcaster of all time. I'm the funniest That's one. True. No, definitely not. <laughs> and no, I'm he not invented, in... listen, Raid of Kid or something yeah. you might not know about Inside Zoidberg. He invented this super mm-hmm. cool and original podcast, uh, called Insufferable oh, yeah. Social Media Disagreement. <laughs> Nobody's ever had this idea before. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought you made that yeah. up. <laughs> no, that's the largest <laughs> issue in the galaxy is the one I made. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also a very original concept. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I didn't know I was uh, following Zoidberg for that long. It confused me whenever he was coming onto the stream because I, I think I added him on Discord or something like that. And then... I was like, wait, this guy sounds familiar, but I guess on Twitter I was following him for a long time. You yeah, see, he's a pretty I, sick I, guy. Pretty I sick find guy. it funny that uh Well, you <laughs> so... followed me on my old account that got suspended. Oh shit, my old account got also got suspended. Mine got suspended. My account got suspended <laughs> too. My second got... one. Mine got suspended before you. Uh I f- hmm. I was like trying to find your new Twitter account. Yeah, yeah, we oh, we're like you're you're a sick guy. I'm pretty sure you're like uh, you're uh, you were a regular. You were someone I appreciated 
which is telling a lot about me because you're a fucking 13 year old kid so like why do i have things in common with you that begs the question <laughs> of my own mental maturity but we won't go there for this podcast no but i just want but to say no, I'm, glad I f- you, I'm glad we reconnected them go on what i find very humorous is that uh in the hypothetical world uh, where Insight ripped off uh, Monkey and Trixie's podcast, which of course he didn't because it's a very original mm-hmm. show, uh, <laughs> I find it funny that his relationship with his co-host lasted even fewer episodes than Monkey and Trixie's <laughs> relationship. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing, that, that shows growth, you know? You still stuck at it. You didn't give it up right away. You persevered. Yeah. No, that he did give it up. There hasn't been a new episode since his co-host quit. No, but I, but I, after did, two, I recorded after an two. episode. I re- I've recorded oh, two episodes. Footage. I recorded two episodes with some of my friends, and I edited them, and they were so bad that I was. <laughs> they just didn't put them out. For, even for this, even for the standards of that. Yeah, show. I was gonna say, what the hell are you talking about? Like, I've heard you on this podcast. <laughs> it was, it's How okay because because I'm be? gonna <laughs> listen. <laughs> I'm going to come on your show and it's going to be the best episode you've ever recorded because I've actually made a podcast yeah. before. <laughs> I, I, I did another podcast that I'm not going to say the Yeah, you did the uh, the Insight Party uh, podcast. Wait, he, he yeah, the, <laughs> How was that? Was it good? It's the same as the Pizza Party podcast. It's like constant awkward silence. No, no. Is that purpose, true? I, I haven't had uh, pizza party in a long it, time. Is that true? Is it on purpose? Uh, it wa- it wasn't on purpose. I was thinking <laughs> it would be really funny to do another episode. Uh, yeah. And like half of the show, I would like every single line, like every single sentence that we would say, I would just leave like a twenty minute long like break. Oh, you would between edit it every in? sentence. Yeah, but or that, that wasn't what I did. That wasn't yeah. what All I, I know did about Pizza the, Party. I listened to like show. I listened to like two episodes. I listened to the one with Bumpy on it, and I listened to the one with Ben Saint on it. And uh, Ben and Saint he, was on the Pizza Party podcast. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was. Um, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I listened to the Monkey one, and I listened to the Ben Saint one, and I don't remember anything about the podcast. All I remember is that there's a co-host. I don't remember his name. I think it was like Nolan or some shit. Something to that effect. <laughs> and uh, I just remember that he made like some some big post like disowning Mumkey after he came on the oh, show. Because yeah. uh, of like something yeah. Mumkey said. No, I think that was uh I think that was um for uh Trixie, like uh when when uh, she made the like uh just shit talking anime YouTubers video. Oh yeah, he shit um, on Trixie. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. He made like a huge post about it, yeah. Uh, I think he shit on Monkey too. Like I think I, I think he killed two birds with one stone, as it were. I don't re- I don't remember the Monkey. One. I, I can no longer associate with the insufferable social media argument podcast, as what Nolan said. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's a big loss. I missed that show. I need to find like a benevolent rich man to pay Monkey and Trixie five hundred dollars per episode <laughs> to make that show again. Well, according. Well, go on. Go inside. What happened? Like, according again. I Hello? don't. I don't. Uh, every... yeah, inside, inside, oh, can inside. you not you're, hear me? You're, Wait, you're, can you hear you now. We can hear you now. Restart. We say. Okay. Okay. Restart. All right. Okay. So, uh, Trixie keeps saying on Twitter that she'll she'll keep doing uh, the podcast with Mumkey despite constantly hey, when does, having. When did she? When say did she that? say this? I, <laughs> I I searched I searched uh Mumkey from like the at and like in like. Yeah, Trixie April said that. April 2021. What? In like April 2021, she was the like, fuck? they were like, are you going to do a podcast with Monkey now that you guys, have, now that you've both been kicked from the the PCP? And then she was like, I- I've never said that I won't do a podcast with Monkey. I mean, that is true. To be fair, when Insufferable Social Media yeah. Argument open. ended, that was 100% Monkey. Like, Trixie was going to keep doing it, and then Monkey was like, no, nah, I don't want to work for this person who voted me out of the PCP, which I, which is fair. But mm-hmm. but to be to be fair mm-hmm. to Trixie, she was yeah. willing to keep doing it. True. Yeah. I, I think all parties were kind of fucked in that situation, honestly. The, the whole <laughs> kicking for the PCP, I think that was a little, handled a little bit cuckoldry on both sides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, but anyway, enough about fucking dumb Monkey Jones drama, because then we're going to... Me and Insight, in particular, are probably going to talk for like two hours, because we're both autists, <laughs> and we watch too much Monkey yeah. Jones. <laughs> hey, don't don't call me a slouch in the Monkey Jones uh, department. I'm just uh, not artistic. Can- Candor, give us, give us your most uh, <laughs> obscure monkey lore fact that you know. Um, did you know that he... I don't know. Why, this why would is I literally know this me. Fact? <laughs> you you this guys offer that to me, me at... and then I'll see if I can beat you guys. All right. This the was most literally obscure, me at the beginning. The most obscure monkey fact act... that I know is that. No, this isn't obscure at all. Never mind. Um, I'm trying to think of. The most, obscure, the most obscure one I can think about is how Insight just got completely talked over and silenced and destroyed. <laughs> and he tried to come back. He was trying to assert himself. All right, all right, Insight. Give us your most. Uh, I, w- I, I was going to say, because when. Uh, when, when, when uh, it, was, it, it wasn't the monkey with it. It was tech. Whatever. Well, go uh, ahead, go ahead. When uh, Random was like, had the long silence, I was going to yeah. say, this is literally me when you asked at the beginning of the show That's what cool. my favorite scene from Juno was. But I guess that would be wrong because you weren't going, um, um, I love, I, 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 I,
Mumkey and Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <Monkey> ironic. Man- <laughs> Monkey and Manimal's gaming expedition. I can only find the only the only place I could find all that was the Monkey's gaming expedition video archive. On yeah, they have a uh, they have the um, uh fucking uh fuck. They have uh the Donkey Kong Country playthrough. Do they have the Game of oh, Life playthrough? They do on they one. Do. I, I forget which one. <laughs> I know. I know. I have the Game of Life playthrough on my channel, unlisted, and I posted it on the Monkey Reddit. <laughs> uh, that might be what you're thinking. You want, uh, no, no, no. I would have recognized your channel when I looked at it. But you know, I, I have a couple. I have a couple monkey things archived on my channel. Like I have uh, uh, the monkey and Biggs uh, drunk Minecraft from 2017. That's on. That's archived on oh. my channel. <laughs> right. They do have the. They do have the game of life on the. On the on the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. I, I, I think I'm the only yeah. one. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, with Sheepover. No, no, no. They played with uh, Patchy. It was Monkey, Manimal, and Patchy. There was oh, another, no, no. I haven't seen there was the another, stuff. There was another game of life with uh, Monkey, Asperger, and Sheepover. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then there was, a, there was a secret stream that I think I'm the only one who's archived. Uh, it's on, like, the archive.org, but I think I'm the only one who's put it on YouTube that I can find uh, is... Uh, there was a live stream uh, where Monkey, Asperger, Sheepover, and Jackie played Game of Life. Nice. Yeah, I've seen I've seen that listed at least. Somewhere. I think I think that's on here too on the archive.org. Yeah, it's on yeah. here. It's on the archive.org, yeah. but I'm the one who posted it to YouTube. Oh. oh, okay. We're talking about YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Right. You know, and in my Discord server, Redox uh, said because I was talking to another person, I was like, "Yeah, not I'm not condoning alcoholism. You don't have to drink every night." And then Redox replied to me saying, "Not a true burger fan." <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, Asperger's been sober for a long time. That's true. Yeah. How man, his raps are pretty good. I, that Jackie Diz, which is hilarious. I think we talked about it on a different uh, podcast. Yeah, we talked about it on uh, Bloomer versus Doomer. Yeah, that's right. And I think well, yeah, fucking... Bloomer. <laughs> I, insight, I searched insight. You random. Come on that. I was trying to look at I w- I was trying to find a version of your uh I was trying to find your profile picture and I looked up mm. random candor and in, in images one of the top things was bloomer versus doomer. <laughs> yeah, it's a great photo. It's when a great thumbnail. Random it, don't you like the thumb thumbnail? Yeah. Yeah, everybody check bloomer. out it's a Z's Z's <laughs> and the <laughs> speaker. <laughs> bloomer and the doomer. <laughs> Everybody check out Random Candor's two uh, breakout hit podcasts, uh, yeah. Bloomer vs. Doomer and the Measly Few podcast. Uh, which if, right. if you listen to Measly Few, do not listen to the one that I'm on because the audio is like unexcusably no, dog shit. One. It's amazing. <laughs> It's about the content, not the audio quality. I can't I listen to me. I can't listen it's to it. It's an aesthetic. It's an aesthetic, right? You, you don't get you don't get the vision. Yeah, you get fine, to, you you get you're but... pretending you're actually in a Discord call with somebody with shitty internet. Yeah, it's a simulation. It's called meta art. You you'll get it one day, kid. And right under uh, Bloomer versus Bloomer <laughs> is. Cokehead tortoise fan mail ad. Uh, watch that. You should watch that. Actually, wait. <laughs> Doesn't monkey wait, have uh, like a cokehead tortoise now? Uh, I don't know why. I don't. I don't know the real I story. Know. I just know that um, I don't know if you're in the garbage mice server. Uh, I can't no, 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 no. Uh, I've no. never listened to an episode of Garbage Mice, but I did join their Discord server, and mm. monkey joined to do his interview. And he, yeah. he he replied to like Cokehead Tortoise's latest post, and he was like, "I can't be in the server if Cokehead Tortoise is here. You need to ban him immediately, or I'm leaving." Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Cokehead, what? A, oh, he's high on his power. Classic monkey. <laughs> he 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 stunt, he stunted on me once. He, he went he, he went on garbage saying, mice for twenty bucks, and he won't even go on measly few for fifty. What a cock! He'll go on for two hundred. <laughs> yeah, he, he said two hundred. Yeah. And I told Robella where I'm going to make a 10% of all of her commissions for the next two months. I'm a pimp. <laughs> You're pimping out, Robel. <laughs> to get the money. <laughs> it's for the culture. She's she's a supporter. She's a true fan. Do I do I get to be on the Beasley Few episode with Monkey on it? Uh, perhaps. Perhaps we'll okay. see if you we'll see if you're good. You have to impress me. 
And then we'll have a tribunal vote. Me and uh, Insight will vote whether you're cringe or not. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no! I've been hoisted by my own petard! It's uh, oh, no! <laughs> but, you know, Juno's a great movie. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, yeah, let's fucking kill this podcast it's before it good. gets too out of hand. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. good. It's pretty good. All right, <laughs> anything you want to plug inside Zoidberg? Um, uh, you piece of uh, shit. I, I'm gonna strangle uh, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I change my mind about my answer on whether he's too? Yeah, questions? no, no, Is I take it, it too back. Too late. Dunk on him. Dunk on him. After he's after he said, "Oh yeah, I knew, I knew I wasn't cringe. Uh, I knew all along," and then we just dunk on him. <laughs> no, fuck it. Helped. Yeah. Ejected. Severed. <laughs> Wait, inside. How old were you when you first discovered uh, Monkey Jones or Edgy Internet? Nine. <laughs> Uh, so like actually, the- when I my guess, my guess is actually, between the ages of seven and nine. It is that's in that range. Mm-hmm. No, I was a uh, ten. Damn it! <laughs> one year, one year early. Nice. Uh, it was twenty seventeen. Oh, you, you discovered Mumpy before I fucking kind of, did. <laughs> that's kind of OG fan, and I feel like um, because I'm not a freaking psycho creep, I never interact with Monkey's true fan base, which are all under fourteen. So this is a nice, like, <laughs> nice section. Uh, you 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 only interact with the ones who have enough disposable income to get on the Patreon server. Exactly, it's a, it's a good web <laughs> filter. <laughs> but uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I I'm actually like a, a late a late boy uh, because I went back and watched hey. like a bunch of archives, so like I know all the 2016, 2017 shit. But I actually mm. discovered Monkey in like. May like October 2018. That's not that like bad. like a cut like two months before he got terminated. Oh, I discovered shit. him. What well, one month before Asperger got arrested, which was funny because I was like, man, I really like this Asperger guy. <laughs> I love yeah. this guy. And then and then uh, yeah, that happens. It was funny because oh, I think. A- I, Go on. I'm trying to remember my timeline of exactly when I subscribed to like Monkey and all of his like side shit. I'm pretty sure I dis- I subscribed to Monkey and Asperger's Gaming Expedition the day before it went back to just being Monkey's oh! Gaming Expedition. Yes. Jeez. I think, yeah, I'm pretty late. Like, I was, like, maybe 2018-ish, but I was just watching the shit. I didn't, didn't fucking do this cringe interaction stuff. But then I joined his Discord because I wanted to support him some in like december of last year or the year before some bullshit i was trying to be like you know this guy's sick i'll give him some money and then it was like okay yeah you have get access to the discord server never use discord i joined discord biggest mistake of my life (laughs) just just to join the monkey server to take advantage of like wanting to support him and then it's become a big cancer in my time of my of uh the day ever since and it's just a habit i need to quit it and it does nothing constructive, but you know, we have a damn good time. Am I right, boys? It's true. Fair, fair enough. All right. Uh, it's, it, did Inside Zoberg actually ever plug anything, or did we get on a tangent? Uh, oh shit! Subscribe yeah. to my <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, Inside Zoidberg, I make really bad videos there, uh, and then I make good videos on uh, insufferable social media disagreement. Oh, nice. You, you and your good nice. friend Kai, the best friends, never had an argument. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was is, is Kai nine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm already subscribed. Kai is, uh, Kai is Kai is four. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! In- Insight is a groomer. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to uh, we welcome, welcome to Bloomer we versus Doomer versus Gloomer <laughs> versus uh, versus uh, no no versus Gloomer is Demi Gloom. It's, it's it's Boomer versus it's, fuck. Uh, uh, let me uh, la- groomer, last time Gloomer. Gloomer. No. Bro- no no no, it's Bloomer versus Doomer. Versus Gloomer, mm-hmm. which is Demi Gloom, and then versus Groomer, mm-hmm. which is Insight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We already That's established it. this when I was talking about Jason Bateman. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. This is canon. It's already it's a it's just ratifying what's already known. Uh, All right, folks. So I think my Twitter. You're a sexual predator. No, don't. <laughs> yeah. Robert Downey Jr. face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, follow him on Riley. I mean, Insight Zoidberg, Insight Space Zoidberg, on YouTube. He prefers to be called Insight. He's a solid guy. He's just he's full of potential. You know, he has his whole life ahead of him. Follow well, along for the ride at Insight Zoidberg. I will probably die before Insight Zoidberg is an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is this a cry for help? What did you mean by this? Whatever did you mean by this? <laughs> Listen, I, they told me two years ago I was pre-diabetic and I needed to stop eating sugar. And I think I've started eating triple the amount of sugar since that time. So <laughs> I think I'm fucked. Well, then stop it. Get some <laughs> I I need to be institutionalized for my eating disorder. <laughs> Jeez. I'm calling the cops right now. What's your address? Oh, yeah. Yeah, stay, yeah stay live on, on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, with hundreds of people in the chat. I, I would trust I would trust random Candor <laughs> with my address, but I would not trust the, the Aww, masses of Twitch.tv. So would you trust Inside Zoidberg with mm, your address? Not yet. I don't think he's re quite reached <laughs> oh, that point. Oh, shit. That's a smart move. That's a smart move. Yeah. I, trust him I, I think in your, I think in your very short time in my circles, you have become a trusted friend, random Candor. But I, it, I don't, yeah. I haven't gotten enough of insight yet. Fair enough. You kind of cut out there. Oh fuck! Damn it. Um. <laughs> hey, uh, you want to plug anything, uh, random? Yeah, you follow Google random Candor or YouTube random Candor. R a n d o m k a n d o r. And follow me on YouTube, on uh, Twitter, I'm at random candor without the O because I got banned, just like uh, Insight. And yeah, maybe Funnily we'll enough, I've never been banned. That's funny too. to me. That's because you're blue pill cocked. You already told him, talked about this. <laughs> yeah, but I, I say <laughs> shit. Like, I've run with the right circles to get banned from Twitter, and it's never happened. Like, all of my you're friends of have been banned ones. from Twitter, and I have not. Jeez. That sounds like a, a song. All my friends, <laughs> all my friends have been banned from Twitter. <laughs> nice. Inside, do the drums. Oh, yeah. Wait for them to make a new account. <laughs> God damn what it. The he what the hell is he even doing for the drum? That sounds so, like, disturbed and Inside is literally, like, slamming his head into a brick wall. Yeah, is he stomping <laughs> on the ground? To get the, like, what kind of pattern of movement is that? <laughs> He's not hitting the desk. Not with like a pencil or something. <laughs> All right, you can find me at anchor.fm slash Riley Megafeed. If you're listening to the archive of this, you might already be there. There's some cool podcasts there and shit, you know. Uh, um, uh, go check it out. It's pretty good. Um, and for the record, Juno is the best movie that Riley has ever seen in his whole nah, life. Not quite the best. Find out tomorrow. Me too. Sunday. That's right. Tomorrow at noon. Find out exactly where Juno ranks. Tomorrow it's on my top ten favorite movies. On the with your guest. Mo Diggity. Thank you very much for having me, Riley. You're welcome, Randy Kandor. Random. I'm glad uh, that you came. Uh, and you too, Insight. But less so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for listening, folks. We'll see you next time.